Hi darling, so as you might have noticed, I've been a little bit on the chubbier side and for once I am so happy I have something or rather a little someone to blame and that is my little kumquat. So this video is just introducing my little kumquat to you darlings. Um, yeah, so basically that's it. I'm pregnant, preggers, I'm expecting and i i wanted to i actually shot a video in march um giving you a buy and buy a blow and blow of my journey but then <sighs> things happen life happens so i decided you know what it has happened i still want to do this but let me do something a little bit different and share it with you in this beautiful month of may which also happens to be a month that celebrates celebrates mothers so here we are by the way if you'd like to know the story of the name kamquat please comment down below and let me know it is uh, quite a, a tale so i don't want to bore you with it right now but i can do a story time for you to explain to you where the whole name originated from so yeah basically that is it the channel is not changing i'm not changing aside from of course my physical changes right now and responsibilities to come but i also want to include this journey as part of my life segment in the juliet method because i want it to be an avenue for us to share encourage celebrate and support each other both men and women who are going through this journey or are intending to go through this journey maybe you're trying or you're intending to try or you have your first baby your fifth and everything in between so that we grow as a community as well of those who maybe are in uh, parenthood right now or are looking to be in parenthood so it is still the same we are just uh, growing and expanding in the things that we discuss here so now uh, you'll bear with me because uh, mommy brain is real and I don't want to lose thought of the things I want to discuss so I'm going to be going through a few things I jotted down uh, here on my notes and then that's basically how I intend to share with you my journey thus far for this first video then hopefully and consequently for future videos if you're interested in me continuing with this series kindly let me know in the comments then maybe i can be doing like a group forum with other ladies who are going through it the first time with ladies who've been through it with ladies who are trying or even men so that this series can help us to grow together so fun new pregnancy facts for me and really this is from my experience i know people's experience can be very different so this is just my part of the journey how i've experienced it so far i hope the tmis are not too tmi-ish but hey we are real in this channel and so let me start so the first thing and it's uh, quite annoying is that the taste in the mouth i don't want to use the word saliva but just the taste is so weird even water like for me i have to add uh, maybe some lemon or some orange so that i can make the water taste a little bit better i've not really gone through the morning sickness per se and again let me just add from my experience um you can comment and let me know if you've been through this journey how how it was for you from my experience morning sickness is not just in the morning like you can experience nausea at any time at any day at anywhere you can wake up well and at three you're not okay so that is my experience thus far even with water i have to add something sour um uh, my comfort is a sour baby we like sour things so that has been my experience with that section thus far nausea has not been so grueling but it has been there on and off but meds also help but basically that is the first thing that i've actually really experienced the second thing is the stomach just doesn't pop 
overnight. I thought maybe I would just sleep and one day I wake up and boom, I have a tummy, no? Um, currently at around 18 weeks, so I'm close to halfway through this journey and still my tummy is not as, especially when I wear like black, it's barely visible, but in the same case, it grows day, day by day, I see like there's a little bit progress. So before this, I thought, well, you sleep and one day your tummy has just popped. No, it's like a gradual slow thing and it's not painful. To me, it has not been irritating. I hear some people itch. So far, I have been okay. What I'm using for that as well, shea butter and uh, bio oil. And for me so far, it's working beautifully. The third and interesting thing is cravings. Now, I used to hear you would crave this, you would crave that, you would love these smells. Personally, I've not had a craving that has stuck. There's nothing that I have craved from uh, maybe the beginning and it's there till now. No, my cravings pop in and out. Today, I'm so into bajiers. I just want to bajiers. Tomorrow, I'm so into... Uh, nyam chom and ugali to the other day i'm so into a sandwich so i've not had something that has stuck with me save for the love of tangerines uh, tangerines are a daily thing for us and which i'm grateful for because it's helping us um overcome what i also hear is a problem people experience and that is constipation again sorry for the tmis but hey it is life and it is fact so Basically for me, I've not had a, a craving. I have cravings that pop in and out every other day or every other week, or I can just have a sudden urge to eat something. Like this morning, I really wanted viazi karai and I've eaten them and now I'm good. So I guess again, as I've said, the journey is different for everyone. But for me, that's my experience thus far. I don't know about you. Maybe you can let me know. Then, um, <laughs> uh, aside from that, basically, I have had my most, um, I can say annoying because I'm someone who really likes to do a lot. I, I, I uh, as you all know by now, I work a full-time job and plus there's the content creation, plus the other things I do on the side. So I'm someone who is always on the go and one thing that uh Kamkot has has uh, brought me is it has really he he or she has really humbled me in the sense that my energy has been really low i've been resting by force so to say so fatigue has been uh, a big thing especially between like now the month of Ep march and april i was really really low on energy but i think i've started uh, picking up on that I'm getting better I'm doing better my energy levels are rising so I'm doing the most right now when I feel this good also I hear the once you, you you're stepping into the fourth fifth month if you're into if you're getting a lot of nausea it also tends to fade away during that time so right now we are in a better place I can say we're in a very good place energy wise and um so far i can honestly say kamkot has really treated me kindly i have had a good experience so far and i only can hope and i can only wish that the journey continues as positively so i'd like to just quickly read through you the baby's development at this stage again i say bear with me i have to read through these things because aside from mommy brain, <laughs> there's a lot going on. So I might miss uh, something here and there. So the baby's development at this stage, where I'm at right now, uh, by this time, um, everything is in place. That is the body parts and organs. Now they are just further developing. Uh, baby is nearly 13 centimeters. That is 5.1 inches and weighs around 140 grams fingerprints toe prints continue to develop and they are unique uh, swells and patterns and the baby's hearing is developing every day by the way i read somewhere that right now when i talk or sing the baby can actually hear me so 
I've been doing a lot of that. I can't wait to know. Personally, I'm not waiting to be surprised. Me, I want to know my baby's gender as soon as I can know it accurately so that I can start calling him or her by name and having conversations. So yeah, that really excites me. But as for now, we do a lot of singing and it's so much fun, I you know. I'm like someone hearing me would think this one is losing their head, they're singing by themselves. But honestly, I, I just tend to have this feeling that the uh, kumquat can feel me. So we do a lot of that. Recent growth means Baby's head and body are more in proportion than in earlier weeks. The eyes have moved in from the side of the baby's head to forward facing and ears are almost in final place. Lastly, the baby's skeleton is continuing to harden from rubbery cartilage to bone. As they get bigger, the umbilical cord, their lifeline to your placenta, grows stronger and thicker. So right now, baby is almost at 100 percent all that is happening is that things are moving into place correct position uh size growth and strengthening that is what is happening so maybe i can just quickly mention also what's considered normal at this stage again note i'm eating meat that's about four and a half months going on five months and what's considered normal is the grain pains um, this I've done from researching and also asking my my uh, a doctor uh, just to confirm because as a first time a mom you don't really know what you should feel or not feel and it's good to question um, especially your doctor who has that professional experience so what's considered normal at my stage now growing pains that is like expanding the baby is expanding and growing your belly is expanding and growing other parts are also expanding and growing so growing pains are there boobs very tender and that one disclaimer is almost from day one and i hear it lasts almost <laughs> For always so that is another thing stretch marks for the same reason so far for me they haven't developed but it is bound to happen maybe and it is normal adding weight uh, my doctor actually said losing weight would be now um, a cause for alarm so every every checkup I have a weight I have to, my weight has to be checked and adding weight is a positive Time. Finally, the nausea at this uh, place, I think I've also mentioned it, but it's just okay to mention it again. If you've been going through nausea at this point, it should be easing up. So yay for that because ha, there's nothing as horrid that, as that, um, that sensation. And your appetite should be picking up if it has been low like mine because me personally, I have not really had an appetite. The whole eating for two thing to me so far has been a sham i've been eating for actually maybe a one because i feel like i was even eating more when i was by myself so yeah so appetite should be picking up nausea should be easing up and you should be actually it said that the second trimester which i'm on right now is like the uh, most comfortable and most enjoyable part of this journey so i'm excited for it i'm doing the most with it i'm enjoying it personally i've never been more comfortable in my skin i thought i would really like um freak out adding weight and going around but honest to god i am enjoying be being chubby because i have a good excuse to be uh, to be it and i'm so comfortable in my skin and i'm so at peace so for that i am super 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 duper grateful so darlings if you've liked this video if you would want us to continue with this conversation let me know in the comments below i'll be trying now to engage other uh, maybe moms who are looking to be or trying or first time moms already first time moms fifth time moms i would be looking to engage them in conversation so as to grow not only uh my knowledge in this uh in this new journey which i am getting into but also 
to share and encourage and support each other because you might be going through some things and you're wondering if you're the only one going through them or you might be missing something and you're, you're scared or you're anxious and sharing honestly helps a lot. I have learned thus far. So if you've enjoyed this series and even as a dad, if you'd like to know more, maybe it will help you as a first time dad or as a dad who is trying to learn more so that you can also support your partner better and know better about the whole journey. Let me know in the comments below and we can make this a series at least every every month we can have an episode to share on this topic otherwise darling thank you so so much for all your support and thank you for continuing to join me in this journey as i prepare to welcome my little kumquat otherwise spread love and light Ta -da!